I'm doing a series of videos on grief and battling inflammatory bowel disease, colon cancer, and having intestinal surgery. So if you end up with an ostomy like me, because they're all kind of wo woven together. Um, so look, and I'll keep them short, or 90 seconds or less. So this first clip episode is on grief and inflammatory bowel disease. Simple statement, they do not mix well, do they? Not whatsoever. When those, and there's two forms of grief, there's the grief that's associated with our disease and our surgery, whether it's cancer, inflammatory bowel disease, and intestinal surgeries, but there's external grief comes to us. Maybe we had a parent or brother, sister, or somebody who has passed away, that type of thing. There's the external grief that comes into our life. So our inflammatory bowel disease, to focus on that for a moment, and managing that grief do not mix well at all. When those close to us, our loved ones, come into harm's way in life in some fashion, we can have, I, people with IBD, we can have an immensely challenging time attempting to compartmentalize our stress and our worry and not allowing this to impact our disease. So what can we do in times of extreme grief when we live with a disease, inflammatory bowel disease, that will often ignite into a flare up of the disease which cripples us when our stress or our emotions are completely out of whack or being severely tested. What can we do to find calmness when all we want to do is scream to the high heavens in anguish and pain amidst the myriad of bowel disease symptomology that we're experiencing at that moment in time. What can we do when we know that we must move forward and be healthy for our families and our friends or those others in our life circles that we care about, but we're struggling to manage our inflammatory bowel disease? Even though we might be taking a combination of powerful medications and treatments and trying to live a healthy lifestyle. If you're viewing this video, then I'm speaking about you and not just about myself. I do not profess to have all of the answers, but I do have some. And I can offer in the series of clips I'm going to do episodes on this, a couple of real life situations that kind of set the stage for that that you can probably relate to in some manner. One is it concerns my father. I can still remember when my father was hospitalized due to the discovery of a massive cancer tumor that was filling his esophagus. And then seeing him pass away days later from a cardiac event uh, after, after that diagnosis. And I was in his hospital room during the afternoon of his first day that he was admitted. And I personally was doubled over in pain from my inflammatory bowel disease, which I hid very well from everyone. My brothers and sisters were there and, and whatnot because I did not want to become the storyline alongside my dad's suffering. So I just kept a happy, upbeat face, but inside I was in extreme pain, like truly. Um, so again, to repeat, when those close to us are in harm's way, such as this type of situation I just described with my father, we, with inflammatory bowel disease, can have an immensely challenging time attempting to compartmentalize our stress and our worry and not allowing this to impact or inflammatory bowel disease, because when my dad's going through this, that kind of acted as a trigger to cause a flare up immediately. So since being diagnosed in 2006 with Crohn's disease, I had colitis prior to that, my diagnosis changed. I have experienced, like many of you, more than my fair share of heartbreaks in life and stressful events in life, and no doubt, like honestly, all of you obviously have as well. But these heartbreaks and these negative life events were more, at times, were more than my inflammatory bowel disease could handle. So my disease worsened meaningfully at these critical junctures. But this, no doubt, has also obviously been the case for many of you in your own life and your life circumstances. So this begs the question, are there tips for dealing with grief alongside inflammatory bowel disease? I know of a few or a handful, and no doubt there are many more that I won't mention in the subsequent video episodes. Um, but I'll go through in some of these episodes after this clip. Uh, there are some tips to consider when you're going through something in life that is overwhelming and that is triggering our inflammatory bowel disease or, may, or at least making the underlying conditions of, of our disease worse. And in short, just to highlight what those are, uh, one is be proactive, two is focus on breathing, body movement, water and nature, three is communicate with your support network, four is think about what your loved one who has just passed away, if that's the event, what, what that loved one would want for you. Fifth is if you sense uh, an IBD flare is rising up in your body, do not put this flare on the back burner, or deal with it. Six is find the alone space you need from other human beings to protect yourself, to rest as needed, to contemplate and reflect as needed. Now I'm gonna do separate videos on each of those. So that's it for the Austin Athlete.